Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live! It is Tuesday. It is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you are watching Clown Live. This is an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. I'm your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. And what up, though? I hope everybody's been really great the last 24 hours since we did our previous show. I've been really good myself. <clears throat> um, as I often talk about, the big vacation, the music festival that we go to annually is coming up very quickly at the beginning of July, and all of our friends are buzzing with excitement about it as it has been announced, and some tickets went on sale, so everybody's super excited about plans this year, and so am I. I was just in a call, and uh, we were all talking about how excited we were about it, so <laughs> Excuse me. We are going to get into some products today. We've got a few products to talk about. I've got a bunch on the table here, and uh, we're going to bring our product camera in in just a second. Let us adjust this camera real quick. Okay, perfect. And uh, yeah, so everything's been good. Robbie J, hello. Thank you for joining our chat today. Uh, if you haven't before, please consider hitting the follow button. And if you already have, Thank you very kindly. I've been doing pretty good. Uh, I hope that you're doing well as well. Thank you for joining the show today. As I was saying, we've got some products on the table. We're going to take a look at them today. We've also got a few B-roll videos that we're going to take a look at. Some great products to talk about. Uh, nothing new on the table today, but some products that we haven't talked about a lot are being featured, and I'm super excited to get into those and talk more about them. <clears throat> okay, and so with that, thumbs up to the people that haven't had an opportunity to say hello. We love the lurkers. Consider uh, here the button, unmuting and hitting follow. It's certainly appreciated, and uh, hitting follow helps our metrics here on Amazon, which is really, really important to us. All right, now we are going to jump right into products on Tuesday. It's time to do it. Let's get into this portable power station that I have today. This is the EF EcoFlow, Okay. This is the EF EcoFlow River 2. Now, let's bring in our product camera as well. Kaboom. Okay, pretty pretty good. Pretty good. There we go. Okay, so yeah, the EF EcoFlow River 2 is a great portable battery that is available today for $200. Now, this is 31% off of its average retail value. Its regular sale price is $289. Now, what you get for the price really is unmatched. Uh, you get a 256 watt hour portable battery uh, that has a grounded plug and a non-grounded plug on it. It also features two USB-A ports and a USB-C port and a power auxiliary port 
on the front as well. And they all each have their own individual buttons to turn them on and off. <clears throat> and this 256 watt hour battery is great. You know, it keeps my laptop charged for up to four hours on a single like use cycle. You can recharge your phones several times and your pat uh, your tablets several times as well. I really love how light the River 2 is. It's extremely, extremely portable. It is extremely, extremely durable as well, all right? Um, EcoFlow makes a great video about these where they're like throwing them downstairs and freezing them in blocks of ice and like really baking them with a huge torch. And no matter what they're throwing at this device, the River 2 just really keeps functioning as it's designed to. <laughs> Pardon me. From a 0% charge to 100% charge can be achieved in under an hour when you plug it into the wall with this plug here. And then the other plug allows you to plug the River 2 into your vehicle's power auxiliary port. I've got the cable. It's right here. Right here. <laughs> Excuse me. This is the cable that allows you to plug it into your car's power auxiliary port. So that's really great. Also, the River 2 supports a 110 volt solar panel that you can obtain when you click through the carousel and navigate to the EcoFlow store. You can add it to your cart uh, when you add this today. Uh, for $199 just for the power station, uh, you'll have to click through to learn the price of the solar panel, okay? Uh, a really good deal, I think, $200. You know. These, like I said before, are really great for leisure. And if you have some type of emergency, you know, you can take solace knowing that like if you needed to get online or something and you didn't have data, I always think about that, that I could plug my modem into this in an emergency situation. Uh, and that's amazing. Also, like if my phone is functioning, I can keep it charged with this um, as well as like some really low draw lights. I can put a, a, a like a night light in here and it will last for up to 24 hours. What's great about the EcoFlow as well is it has a really easy to understand display on the front. Now the big number represents how many hours of power you have left based on the estimated percentage of your battery and wattage being drawn and pushed in at the same time. Uh, this is really great. We use it inside a lot. And as the weather turns nice, I'm super stoked to get outside and use this in a few more like outdoor practical applications. <laughs> All right. And this is a really good deal. It's already 37% claimed. So if you've been considering something like this, now might be the time to act, especially with the nice weather coming. Camping weather is now like around. It's beginning to come around for everybody. Uh, the next thing is the Comalgo. Let's drink a little bit of water. <clears throat> and we're going to keep it going here on this show called Clown Live. <clears throat> All right. Now, what we're going to get into is what is highlighted in the carousel. And this is going to be the Comalgo uh, projector. Now, the Comalgo projector says that it's a 1080p projector. What this projector more accurately does is supports a 1080p signal that is down uh, sampled into a 720p signal. So it is a 720p resolution projector that supports uh, 1080p content. Um, I guess I don't have everything in the box today. Oops. I guess I don't have every single thing in the box today, but no matter, the things that are in the box are a very, very simple looking uh, infrared remote control that is included with the Comalgo and you get an audio video cable that plugs into this barrel connection here, this three and a half millimeter jack, uh, so that you can plug it. your like, um, uh, uh, your RF and not RF, but the next one, the one that is uh, red, white and yellow, right? <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, I just, am not showing that audio cable, but the Comalgo projector in itself is essentially this entire unit now it does have a lens cap on it that when you pull it off shows a 9500 9, lumen 9500 lumen i haven't talked about it in a while but okay i want to i want to see if i'm right the comalgo 1080p projector has a 9500 lumen le is is a 9500 lumen led projector let me say that one again it is a 9500 lumen led projector okay that can go i believe up to 200 inches and they say that it is brighter than 
95% of all other LED projectors currently on the market. Hey, what's up, Rover? I literally was just thinking about you before I went live. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you for joining. Oh, you know what? It says it right here in the title uh, on the carousel. So funny that, that I didn't even look at that. But yeah, 9,500 lumens on the Comalgo LED projector. Uh, I used this the other day when I got it. We set it up and we watched some fun movies on it. I watched the movie Super Bad with Jonah Hill and Michael Sarah. a very funny movie uh, for the time that it was made. And it looked great on this. And that was a direct feed from a, I think that was a 720p resolution video that I had on a USB stick. And the inputs on the Comalgo are pretty, pretty plentiful. Uh, it has, I believe, audio out. So you have audio out and audio video in two USB ports and an SD card slot, as well as an HDMI and a VGA in. So you can really connect what you need to the Comalgo, all right? Now, this doesn't have like an operating system or anything like that, but it does feature some built-in speakers. They're kind of like, you know, speakers that are in there. You know what I'm saying? But it is the complete package nonetheless. <clears throat> and uh, I also love that it does have the tripod mount on it, so you can put it on a tripod and hold it in, in sturdy place uh, if you need to. I love the Comalgo because it has a really, really bright light that fills the wall very well. Now, it's not going to be a DLP projector, you know what I'm saying? But it is a really great quality projector that you can get today for $52.99. So $53 today for the Comalgo. And it has a four-star rating with 600 reviews. Not too bad, I'd say. I've been enjoying it uh, as I've been using it. Uh, we got some other DLP projectors here. So I'm thinking that, uh, you know, we've got so many options for portable projectors. We might just use this one in the bedroom since it's kind of like, well, it is very versatile and, and portable and you can use it wherever you want. This just kind of seems like one that we should just put in the bedroom. And uh, yeah, that's like what I think we might do. Now we're going through some renovations in the bedroom soon. I recently got a brand new uh, garment hanging rack and it's almost nine feet long. Uh, and my walls are like 13 feet long. So I'm really excited to get this long garment rack in the room and set it up. Uh, we were talking about it on yesterday's show and uh, I'm super stoked about it. So <laughs> excuse me, once we get that all set up, then I'll know where is the right place to put everything else, right? Where we're going to set up the projector. I think I've already got an idea. I just got to get a little shelf. All right, now let's keep it moving on today's show and talk about our next product. And this is going to be the Exatelcom H1, all right? Now this is an environmental noise canceling headset that boasts an algorithm that reduces road noise to offer the person that you're speaking to a very clear call. Let's drink some water. <clears throat> All right, when we open up the Exa Telcom H1, we are greeted with the device as well as a little cinch sack to keep it nice and clean and a little bit more portable if that is so your thing. <clears throat> Pardon me again. What is great about the what is great about the Exa Telcom H1 is that it has a cup on one side that offers you some noise isolation when wearing it, but still allows one ear to be open so that you're aware of your spatial surroundings, which I think is really important uh, when you're like on the side of the road as a trucker. This has a, over a 100 foot range and features a bi-directional microphone. So you can wear it on the left side or the right side. It's really easy. You just switch the microphone around. And you can put it back on. Very, very good. And uh, yeah, the Trucker Bluetooth headset is available today for $89.99. And this has a four-star rating with 111 reviews. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a really nice little headset. Uh, I like that it allows you to remain hands-free, you know, when, uh, when trying to talk to somebody. Uh, if you have to on the side of the road or if you are a trucker and you need to get like open the back of the truck or whatever, you need both your hands. I think this is a really great option. <clears throat> All right. Now let's talk about the Exa E1000s. These are kind of like the other side of Exa. You know what I'm saying? First, they have the trucker headset. Now we have these gaming headsets. We're going to talk about this E1000 here. 
And what you get when you buy this box, okay, is the headsets. They come in this bag that is embossed with the EXA brand name. And these are super, I believe, budget-friendly at $25 today, okay? These are 38% off of their regular $40 price point. And when we take them out of the bag, we can really see that they are padded up pretty nice. And these are going to be... 50 millimeter drivers that are in, in these ear cups and the EXA E1000s, it's E1000 has really thick head foam. I love that as well for maximum comfort. Same, it's very plushy on the ears as well. It has a solid connected microphone that can be muted with the included, okay, with the included inline volume control and mute switch. Uh, and that inline control is going to be in a nice braided line, as a matter of fact, and which really gives it a better quality premium feel, I think. And at the end of it, what connects the E1000s to your favorite devices, it's a USB stick. It's a USB port, excuse me. So USB connected to your favorite console or your... PC or your laptop, the E1000s have EXA branding on each side of the cup, and this white bezel lights up in an RGB mode when you plug it in. Now, it just cycles through one RGB mode that is not changeable, as far as I understand, and uh, yeah, I really like these ones. They really offer great noise isolation due to the thick padding that is on them. And as I said a moment ago, super budget friendly, I believe, today at $25. And this is 38% off of its $40 average retail value. Oh, you know what I forgot to say about these? These are 50 millimeter drivers. I did say that. But what I neglected to say is that these offer a very important feature of the E1000. And that is a simulated 7.1 surround. So you get a really great 7.1 surround experience with the E1000s. And that's kind of like a really big selling point. So I'm glad I didn't neglect to say that now. Okay, now let's talk about another product that we've got in our carousel here today. <clears throat> and this is going to be the Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop. Now, the gaming laptop, I've actually got it here uh, in real time. I'm using it to broadcast today's show to you. So we kind of take a look over here. You know, we've got it. We always got to kind of go down. There we go. I guess the right move really is sitting right behind the desk here. But yeah, so this is it's such an odd thing because I can't see myself. Hey, what's up? What's up? There we go. There we go. Hello. Hello. Okay, good. All right. Okay, now I can see myself. Okay, so this is the Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop. I'm using it today to bring you today's show. And what I love the most about this is how thin it is and how fast it is. The Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop has a Ryzen 7 4800 series CPU and features an NVIDIA 3050 GPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM, as well as a 512 gigabyte SSD on an M2 slot. And the Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop features an additional M1 slot so that you can install your favorite uh, sized hard drive or brand hard SSD, excuse me, to hold even more of your favorite content. Now, as far as input output goes on the laptop, and then we'll take a quick stand up here, the, the IO essentially is all on this side of the computer. You have power and ethernet and HDMI, as well as two USB 3.2 gen ports, a USB-C port, and a multifunction headphone microphone jack, okay? Now on the opposite side, there's gonna be a single USB 2.0 port, and uh, I currently just use that to be a little receiver for my little keyboard here. Now, the A15 is a really great gaming laptop. It features a 1080p resolution that is 144 hertz and is measured at 15.6 inches, so a pretty standard laptop size screen. It has a 720p webcam and a microphone array built into the bezel and an RGB backlit keyboard with whited 
A, uh, excuse me, with white WASD keys to really give it that gaming flair. Uh, you can adjust the way that the RGB is connected through Armory Crate, which is included in the laptop when you buy it. And when you do buy it, you can get it at a phenomenal deal, okay? Because the Asus Tough A15, and this is the 2021 model, okay? This is available today for $979. So you can get a really good quality excuse me, you can get a really good quality like mid-level uh, laptop, gaming laptop for sub $1,000 today. <clears throat> and I think that's really good. Uh, $979. I've been loving mine. Uh, I'm like, oh, you know, I'll just only use it for streaming and then I'll use my other 12-year-old computer that I've been using 13-year-old first gen i5 for other stuff. Psh, forget it, dude. As soon as I got the laptop, I stopped using the other computer, which is not smart. I got to get on this old computer probably and back up some files that I think are important to me before this old clunker just goes into the closet with all the other ones. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, the Asus Tough Gaming A15 laptop is pretty great. It's really fast. It like uh, I used to only be able to render videos essentially in real time, like when I was producing videos, if I made a, a half an hour video, it would take a half an hour to edit. The other day, I made a two minute video, it rendered in like less than a minute, and I loved it so much. So a really high quality, whether you're streaming or editing or gaming, I do believe that the Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop is a really good sub $1,000 option worth your consideration. All right, now let's talk about some more stuff that we've got in today's carousel. And this is going to be a nice little Bluetooth speaker that you can own today. And while I'm grabbing it, it's going to be 30 bucks, And I think it's 50% off that I read just now. Did I see that this is a 50% off deal today? Uh, I did. I did. Okay, the Areki Shen Beat Boom wireless speaker is a pretty nice little wireless speaker that is 50% off today. Now, I'm going to show you the black version, but it does come in a few different colors. Now, the Beat Boom, okay, the Beat Boom, the wireless Beat Boom is, there we go. Okay, the wireless Beat Boom is a pretty nice, solid, one-piece little speaker. It has a spot on the rear to connect a lanyard as well as some little booties to hold it in place uh, on a surface. Also, when we pull the IP, the device is IP67 water resistant, so you can get this wet. It's not a big deal. And when we pull back this gasket, excuse me, <clears throat> when we pull back the gasket, it has a USB-C charging port as well as a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Okay, so these are located behind here. And then uh, when you're not using them, you can keep it nice and sealed. It has a sweet little light show that comes in a three different varieties. And that's going to be um, backlit speakers. And then this entire body is lit. Let's hit the button. Evans, what's up? Thank you for joining the show today. I hope that you're doing very well. We are just in the middle of talking products. And right now we are talking about the 50% off Areki Shen wireless beat boom speaker. Now this is a 25 watt Bluetooth speaker that I was saying has a nice little light show. It has white lights for the speakers. Uh, I think they change colors. And then it has a light show that fills this entire light bar that wraps completely around the beat boom, which I think is a nice light. And then we can press the light button again, and it will do both. So I think it's just maybe bright white lights for the front. Now this connects via Bluetooth and has that three and a half millimeter jack behind the rubber seal so that you can keep music going to this, whether you have it connected via Bluetooth or not. Uh, there's no app for this. You just hook it up and play it. And it's really, really pretty good sounding little thing, especially for being IP67 water resistant. It is 6.7, right? 24 hours of playback time, IPX7 waterproof, three mode lights, 90 decibels of sound. This is a Bluetooth 5.3 compatible and is a 20 and has 25 watts of powerful bass. Okay, so this is really cool. Uh, I like it. Um, this is small. We got some other speakers that are a little bit louder. So I do have the 
fortunate ability to grab a kind of a bigger speaker. But uh, this is great. This is great if you just want to take something small camping with you or throw something small in a backpack that is a little bit louder maybe than your phone. If you've got some music, you know, happening in that kind of situation, there you go. All right. Once again, I don't think a great deal like this can be said enough. The Areki Shen is available today regularly for $60, but you can get it for 50% off today, making it $30. And don't forget one final thing. It does come in a few different colors. It says on the side of the box, and they are, I want you to know, red and orange, as well as blue, grass green, dark green, black, and pink. So if you do click through the carousel and take a closer look at the Beat Boom wireless Bluetooth speaker by Areki Shen, let me know what your favorite color is. And I would love to really talk about it with you because uh, you know what? I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do it myself right now. I think I've already done this. And I think I was like a fan of orange. I think I like orange things because they're bright. And like, I'm always losing all my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm always losing all my stuff. Okay. Black, blue, blue is nice. Uh, gra grass green, dark green is also kind of nice. Uh, the, the, oh wait, hold on. Dark green is kind of nice. Grass green is a little minty. I feel not really grassy. And the orange is kind of like a creamsicle, uh, not quite salmon, but almost borderline salmon. Maybe my monitor settings need a little tweak. Uh, the pink is a nice, I'm not like the biggest pink go-to isn't, I do got some nice pink things, but, um, I don't think this pink would be my go-to. And then also the red actually is like a nice kind of ruby color. And I really like the red. So if I had to pick a different color today, I would definitely go with it kind of like this creamy creamsicle orange or this ruby red kind of color. Uh, they all look really nice. Okay. Now let's keep it moving on today's show and let's talk about some more products that we've got in our carousel. And the next one that I've got lined up here is going to be kind of a two for one thing. I've got one of them here in the house and I've got one of them uh, connected to the campers. So they are identical in aesthetic and only slightly different in spec. So we're going to get into those right now. <clears throat> and what I'm getting on about is going to be the HSB 4000. Now, I know this is not in the shot, but that's okay. Um, 82084. 82084. Okay, so the HSB 4000 and then the 5000 comes after it. Okay. All right, let me grab this thing. Let me set some let me set some boundaries here, okay, on the show. How about that? Let's pull this down and not move the table, but stop the camera. And let's grab our Obsbot software real fast here and make a quick quick change to how we see things. Okay. And then uh, let's, uh, I guess, full screen me. We'll see what happens here. But one moment. Okay. I did put the faded side of the blank table tablecloth up today. All right. That could be pretty good. All right. I got a pretty tender back with a sore sciatica. Ugh! And this thing is no good for that. But I think we got the shot back here. Okay. Okay. This is the Husky Super Brute HSB 4000. This jack, it, hold on. Okay. That's pretty good. <clears throat> okay, this is the Husky Super Brew HSB 4000. What it is is a great electric jack for your RV or your utility vehicle. I got mine for my RV. I love it so much. This is a bit overkill for my RV. It lifts 4,000 pounds up and down 18 inches in under a minute and has two switches, one to control it to go up and down and one to control the safety lights that are located here and on the front and in the same position on the opposite side. It has a great set of gaskets that covers a hole in the top of the jack, okay, the, the jack to put your jack handle in case you want to manually engage the jack. It also has a great gasket that fits around this area here to, uh, to block this switch that makes it take, excuse me, that changes the 
transmission, I guess, in here from neutral to to uh, engaged, right? So when it's in neutral, you have to manually crank it. But when it's engaged in drive, then the electric jack can be used by the switch. Now, this is a pretty great jack. I had one that failed on me and I got this replacement. I've been pretty satisfied with it, but I dropped mine. And normally you wouldn't drop these, right? Normally you're going to keep this on its very flat, great sized foot pad and connected to your trailer or your camper. What I did was I had mine leaned up against this plastic uh, uh, table and it slid off and it hit the corner and got a little crack in the housing. So uh, I've kind of compromised its ability to be waterproof, but I do have a nice... Um, I do have a nice bag that goes over it. So I kind of have like a saving grace. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. But I really love the Super Brute. Uh, it has the ability to be wired into your four-way or your seven-way and is a really, really strong, powerful motor. Uh, and it comes with all the hardware that you need, including a breaker line, a fuse line uh, to install this properly. And it does a great job lifting. I haven't really had any problem I didn't have any problems going up and down until it did, right? Uh, so, like, it was just working very, very well, and then it stopped working. Uh, but mine was a couple years old out of warranty. All right, so this is the HSB 4000. Today, this jack is available for just under $300. I think that is a pretty good price for this jack, if I do say so myself. Um because I think I bought it for a, a similar price when it was first released. And then suddenly the cost of everything started like rising so much. And, uh, and the Husky Super Brute was no different. It was no different. Okay. Now, um, okay. So now that I'm closer to the device, the, the HSB 4000, the jack we were just talking about, good for 4,000 pounds. That's available today for $297.75, and that is 32% off of its $434 average retail value. Now, the next product in our carousel is the Husky Super Brute 80, model 82022, and the other one was 0284. Uh, 82084. This is 82022. Now, this is essentially the HSB 5000 model, you might call it. Uh, and it's available today for $370. Now, what this is different than the jack that we were just looking at is it supports 5,000 pounds instead of 4,000. And it also comes with a really cool remote. I've got the remote. Here it is. <clears throat> it comes with this nice little remote control. It comes with two of the remote controls. Actually, you get two of them when you get the HSB 5000 and you just slide this little boy down here, this little guard, and you can go up and down and lock and uh, stop, I guess, uh, the device. So really, really cool uh, that you get this. And uh, now you don't have to be cranking in the sun. You just pull this bad boy out, hit the button, forget about it. OK, that's what I really love about the 5000 model. Now, the 5000 model, like I just said, is available today for three hundred and seventy dollars. It is a little bit more than the um, it is a little bit more than the uh, than the four thousand today for sure. But if you're looking for that sweet remote, definitely you can consider adding this to your cart today or waiting until it goes on a little bit more of a sale. Uh, I bet you if I click through, there is not going to be a sale on this, uh, like a clickable coupon. I could be wrong. I am not. So 369 today for the 82022. All right. I really like it though. And I think uh, the remote makes it really worth it. Okay. Now let's talk about the next product in today's carousel. And this is going to be the NOCO Genius. Let's bring our product camera back into the show. And let's drink a little bit more water. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, wonderful. Now we want to talk about the NOCO. Okay. This is the NOCO Genius 
two by two. It's a four amp charger. Okay. And this four amp charger is two, two amp battery bank. So I want to show you that now. This is it. Let's uh, follow me a little bit. And I love this Noco battery charger, the Genius 2x2. It's two 2-amp battery banks. I bought this so that I could charge two batteries at the same time. I have two gas scooters that have small 12-volt batteries, and this makes it really easy to uh, keep both batteries charged and maintained at the same time, even during like an off-season when we're not using them. So it is an IP6X wet water resistant shell. It's really, really durable. And this is a smart charger. So it, it won't put out, a, if you plug this in and turn it on, it won't put out a charge until it knows what is connected to it. And the different types of batteries that this Genius supports is 12 volt lithium, 12 volt AGM, as well as 12 volt lead acid batteries. This will also charge six volt batteries and is a smart charger that features the ability if the battery you connect it to serves back zero volts, you can try to force a charge into the battery with this device. And if the genius even picks up a single volt from that forced charge, it will attempt to recondition that battery. And your results will vary with that option, but I think it's really great. It has a really, really easy to understand face. It's the same on both sides and features a single button operation. Uh, I love how this battery charger comes with these included alligator clips. And the alligator clips are going to be kind of a short so sort of lead here with these clips. But what makes them really cool is that they have that they're attached. The alligator clips are attached to the lead with these little screws. And you can remove these screws and the alligator clips to reveal eyelets that allow you to permanently attach this to your battery. That's why the lead is so short. And you get two sets of alligator clips with these short leads, as well as a 10-foot extension cord. And by A, 10-foot extension cord, I mean two. You get two sets of alligator clips and two 10-foot extension cords with the Noco Genius 2x2. Two two. I think that's really great. So you can have your leads connected to your battery more permanently and then just plug in with these proprietary plugs um, that also have dust caps to protect them. Today, the Noco Genius is available for $99.95 and it is a rare one to go on sale to say the least. I think since the, all the time that I've been uh, streaming since October, I think I've only seen it go on sale once, and that was during like the Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. So a really, really great product, though. Like even if you paid 100 for it, I think you would be really content with your purchase because I know that I've been and uh, I know that I've been really content with mine. It really does everything that I needed to do. And it's not just good for little scooter batteries. You know what I mean? Like you can hook it up to your car battery or your truck battery. That's what I'm saying. Like it services all types of batteries. All right, now let's move on to the next product that we've got in this carousel. This is gonna be a real quick boy to talk about. And this is gonna be the Hot Pop XL drying mat, silicone drying mat. Now what you get with the Hot Pop XL silicone drying mat is exactly that. You get this big 18 by 24 gray mat that has these ridges. Okay, and these ridges help promote drying. And then it has a larger ridge around the outer circumference or around the outer edge that prevents spillage from this, uh, that prevents spillage onto your countertop. So you can use this as a drying rack. Of course you can. But what makes it really, really great is that it is made out of silicone. So it supports up to 480 degrees Fahrenheit heat being placed on it. So that means that you can like take your hot things off the stove and serve, you know, like hot pots on your kitchen table if you wanted uh, or whatever else comes to mind. Okay, now I want to just say some facts about this that I never memorized. And that is with the Hot Pop silicone drying mat, it is a high quality durable drying mat. It's made out of 100% food grade silicone. It's non-toxic. It's antibacterial. Also, it's BPA and PVC free. It, it is heat resistant up to 480 degrees Fahrenheit and can be used as a trivet for hot pots and pans. Trivet is the word that I forgot earlier. And it is non-slip and shock absorbent. Okay, give it that. 
uh, raised line edges, high raised edges, rolls up, rolls or folds up for easy storage, easily cleaned with warm water and dishwasher safe. Kaboom. Okay. So that is all the facts about the hot pop mat. We use it very, very often for a drying mat. But yeah, we also use it as a trivet when we want to serve some hot things as well. Okay, a really, really great price today with just under 2,000 reviews, giving it a four and a half star rating. The Hot Pop Double XL 24 by 18 inch silicone mat. It's available today for $18.99. So $19 for this one today. All right, now let's talk about another great product. Dude, you know, we talk about a lot of the same products very often here on Clown Live, but the thing about it is the products are just so great, you know, that they it, it bears repeating. It bears repeating, and this is no different. Right now, we're going to take a quick talk about this Weber Smoky Joe Portable Barbecue, okay? So let's uh, line it up kind of like this. Hopefully that's not too bad. All right. So this is the Weber Smoky Joe Barbecue, and this is a 14-inch grill that is coated in porcelain. So when maintained, the barbecue is given a no-rust guarantee, I think, for up to 10 years. Uh, now, it, some assembly is required. We have ours in the box today, but when you put, put it together, you know, you're going to attach the handle and the legs. Now, there's not too much else to say about the Smoky Joe. It is a pretty standard, bull-shaped charcoal barbecue that is very portable with its 14 inch grill circumference and uh, it's great if you want to take a beach side and make some sausages if you're trying to tailgate at a party this charcoal barbecue is going to fit nice on that tailgate uh we uh we have a larger um charcoal barbecue that we use at home and we have a smaller gas grill that we use for portable stuff but i'm thinking I'm thinking uh, we're going to have to break this bad boy out of the box this year and set it up and really, really test it out. Now, if you can't wait for me to open mine and you have to get it today, I recommend it wholeheartedly. And you can do that by clicking through the carousel and adding the Smoky Joe 14-inch grill to your cart, okay? And when you do that, you're going to get it at a 9% discount of its average retail value. Um, being that average retail value being $62.39. You can get this today for $57 flat. And this has a four and a half star rating with just under 1600 reviews. Uh, my friend has one of these and several times I've showed these in the chats. People are like, oh, I also have one of these. They are pretty good. So more than one person has told me that, pardon me, the Smoky Joe is quite a good little charcoal barbecue. All right, now let's keep it moving here. Now, not only do I hear people tell me that the Smoky Joe 14-inch ceramic coated barbecue is a great product because they already own one, but I'm learning quickly that this O-Cedar mop that we're going to take a look at now is the exact same, exact same thing, the exact same thing, something that everybody seems to have. Because here's the thing, when I first started talking about the Oceder Easy Ring Microfiber Mop System, I was like, oh, I've got, uh, we were showing a B-roll, and it was Justin's B-roll, and I was watching it, and I'm like, oh, I've got a similar looking mop bucket. I've got the same mop bucket, but I don't know if I've got the mop or whatever. And, uh, and I went in the back of the house during that live stream, and I looked, and lo and behold, I certainly did. So I brought my O-Cedar Easy Ring microfiber mop up to the front of the house. We were showing it on the show as it is, like a matter of fact. And uh, and then when the show was done, I reached out to Justin and I'm like, hey, I've got one of these so we can add it to, the, I can just show this now. And he's like, yeah, I got mine. I bought mine. We didn't get it like sent for purposes or whatever uh, for review. And so... I was like, yeah, very cool. So then I did another live stream and Rome Knows Tech popped in and he's like, I've got one of these O-Cedar mops as well. I bought it. It's pretty great. And then somebody I forget in the chat said the same thing. And then over the weekend, I went over to my friend's house and he had the same mop and bucket system at his house as well. So I couldn't believe how everybody just randomly in my life 
seems to have this Oseter Easy Ring microfiber mop system. So if you hear the sound of my voice right now and you don't, maybe it's worth listening to what I've got to say. Because the Oseter Easy Ring microfiber mop and bucket is available today for $60. All right. $60 and two cents. And this is 8% off of its average retail value being $65. And it has a four and a half star rating with, get this, 80,939 reviews. So basically 81,000 reviews on this mop. Look at this thing. You get this mop bucket, all right? This is what you get. And what's cool about the bucket is it has this easy ring design in it. And how you activate it is by stepping on this pedal. Now, what comes with the kit is the mop bucket that has the built-in, non-removable, easy ring, okay? And also, it comes with the microfiber mop head that presses easily into the mop. Make sure I got that locked in place properly. I just didn't have it lined up right. So, we just locked this into place. Good to go. And then, uh, I thought that mine was like some kind of like different handle that we only got one, one thing. And then I had a short handle. But no, Mima was telling me, no, you're just not doing it right. You should be able to do it in a, in a third part as well. But I don't know. I'm having like a hard time like unscrewing that part. I don't know if she's like, I mean, she would know. But I know that I can pull it out a little bit and that mine's a little bit short. But I think right here I just have it like over tightened or something. Uh, Mima said that she's had this mop for many years. Yeah. Oh, there. I think I got it. Mm, no. No, I didn't. So I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to struggle with it, but I, I know that I can tighten this side though. Oh man. I hope I didn't damage this. Me was going to be upset. Okay. So there it goes kind of tightening here now. So I just kind of was like overspinning it when I didn't need to. Okay. So I can tighten it to this length, but what about right here? I think I'm going to grab a pair of pliers after the show and try to loosen it there so that I'm not struggling with it. But it does extend in three pieces so that it can be a full-size mop because it doesn't just stop at your belly button. It's not a mop for ants, okay? Uh, so, yeah, anyway, when you do get the mop, though, what's cool about it is you get it wet, you put it in the mop, and then you put it in the thing, and then you, when you step on the pedal, look, it spins. It's spinning the mop inside, and it's allowing you to wring out all the whatever you need to and it has a really really durable foot pedal as well like this mechanism seems like it's built exceptionally well you step on it with your foot you don't feel like it's going to slip the gear or anything like that it's a really really nice high quality kind of like firm press firm uh press that you have to do to the pedal to engage it and i think it's really cool Okay, so let's lock this together. Now, when you click through the carousel today and add this $60 mop and bucket system to your cart, um, it comes with four additional microfiber heads. And what's great about these is they are easy to just pull off and they are machine washable, okay? They just have a little plastic bracket on the back that hold all the microfibers in place. I really, really think that this Oceder mop and bucket system is really cool and uh, it's 8% off today. All right, now let's keep it moving, and we're going to talk about some Prex Tex plush dinosaurs, uh, and we're also going to talk about the Volcano House dinosaurs. So let's bring both the sets out to play together, and uh, we can do that now. <clears throat> and we're going to talk about Prex Tex plush dinosaurs, okay? Now, with the plush dinosaurs, we do have them in our Volcano House box, because when you order the Prex Tex plush dinosaurs the seven piece kit that we're going to take a look a uh, seven or eight piece kit that we're going to take a look at now they come in a bag they come in a like a, a plastic bag that you will dispose of when you uh when you buy the uh when you buy these okay so but what we get is some really cute dinosaurs let's pull them out to play see who's all here now i never ever bothered to learn the dinosaurs so uh okay oh no we don't need to show this and we don't need to show this. Okay, so what we get is, uh, how many is it? It's three, six, eight. Eight dinosaurs. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so you get eight dinosaurs in the kit for $30 today. And these have a five-star rating with just over 2,400 reviews. 
you get some really, really fun dinosaurs that you can play with yourself. You can let your kids play with them. They're good for toddlers. They have a really, really nice uh, like microfiber cloth kind of feel to them. And it makes it feel like it would be like a pretty easy to clean kind of kind of situation. So um, I know that we can go out a little bit more. So yeah, the dinosaurs are really cool. Uh, you get the Brontosaurus and the T-Rex and a Stegosaurus and a Triceratops as well, among other dinosaurs in the little kit. And these are like little dinosaurs, okay, that are really fun. Now the eyes in the dinosaurs are little black plastic beads, but they seem very well sewn into the fabric, all right? Now this is going to be the eight kit, the eight piece kit of plush dinosaurs. And like I said a moment ago, this has a five-star rating with just over 2,400 reviews and an average retail value today of $30, okay? Now, what also we have to take a look at is uh, more Prextex dinosaurs uh, that come with the Volcano House. So we're going to put these guys away, but we're going to keep the little T-Rex and the little Brontosaurus out, okay, for a little bit because we're going to make some size comparisons here. And uh, let's move these other dinosaurs out of the way. Thank you, fellas. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's move these ones over here. And let's grab the dinosaur house and the dinosaur volcano house box. Here is the Prex Text volcano dinosaur house, okay? And what it looks like is a nice cone-shaped brown volcano that's right looks like a volcano and what i really like about this is out how it has different colored textured sides and features a small loop on the top that makes the volcano house great for hanging up uh, as well as a perfect size loop for a toddler's hand the the uh, dinosaur volcano house has a zipper front door and when we open that front door well let's put this down and see who is inside all right so when we open the dinosaur house okay we open the dinosaur house. We are greeted by a bunch of dinosaurs. Okay, we got to move this box and pull our dinosaur house back. Okay, we got a brontosaurus and the tyrannosaurus. Okay, now we get five in the in the dinosaur volcano house, and these dinosaurs are going to be just a little bit bigger than the dinosaurs that you get in the plush kit, right? Now the house inside is unfinished, but it's a very very soft material. And also, I believe, same made out of a similar microfiber-like cloth as the rest of the dinosaurs. So it makes it really easy to clean. But one thing that I do want to point out is the size difference between the brontosaurus in the five-piece volcano house and the brontosaurus in the, in the uh, oh, oh, no, oh, no, we got a little casualty. Hold on, I'll save you. Uh, okay, look at this. Oh, we still can't see the size difference. Okay, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Here we go. Boom. Okay, look at the size difference of these guys while I save the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, oh good. I'm glad the camera wasn't on me. It was looking at my booty. Okay, so now we did get to save the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's cut back to the double camera view, though. <clears throat> and uh, let's reset our shot here. Okay, excellent. And we can refollow. Most excellent. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look at the size difference between the brontosauruses. You're also going to get the same effect with the tyrannosauruses as well, uh, just to see that there is a size difference among them. All right. So just be wary of that fact. And the Volcano House with the five dinosaurs is also available today for $30. And this is actually a 14% savings on its average retail value of $35, which, uh, you know, if you're looking to save five or six bucks, then you can definitely, definitely consider adding these Prex text. You know, they've got that five-star review. And I just love, I just love when a product features a five-star review with even over a thousand reviews, you know, to maintain five stars. That's pretty great. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's put these dinosaurs back in their volcano home. Okay. Very simple. And then we will zip them up for now. And uh, thank you for joining us, fellas. And that's what, that's it. That's it.
Now, we smashed through our carousel today again in an hour, but uh, we still have got some B-roll videos that we want to take a look at. And so we've got that set up here in just a moment. Okay, so let's buy a little time. Thank you, product table. And uh, let's give them the old full screen. Okay. And uh, Joanna, what's up? No more dinos. What do you mean? Are you done with the dinosaur stuff? Sorry. I mean, we are done with it now. So hopefully you're okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining the show. Let me drink some water in celebration of your arrival to today's live stream. Yo, Joanna, I was talking to my friend who's been my friend since like grade school. And uh, I saw him, I saw him like last weekend, I guess, last Sunday or whatever, a couple days ago. And he's like, your hair is looking bad. <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, your hair is too long and, and it's too thin and wispy. You've got to do something different about your hair. And I'm like, oh, man, maybe I should cut it all off. And he's like, yeah. And I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Um, what do you think about my hair? I do recognize that my hair is kind of thin. I've got thin hair. I would like to braid it, you know, like in little braids. Like uh, I see people do when I go to that music festival that I like. I think that would be an interesting way to express myself. Hydrate, don't dehydrate. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> it gets stringy on the ends when it's longer. Dude, I never got a haircut or a trim since the summer of 2020. <clears throat> Pardon me. I never got a trim since the summer of 2020. It's all split ends. I wonder what would happen if I gave it a nice little trim and maybe fill this middle part in. Why is it always like this? You know what I'm saying? I'm just making fun of myself. Um, dreads. Now I know a friend of mine who had dreadlocks and they were very long, uh, in my opinion. And he recently just cut them off and he said that he's going to start again. And because he had them, he encouraged me to get them. And I did want to get them when I was younger, but I, and I don't let like age discriminate like a way that you want to look, you know what I mean? You can look however you want, but uh, I wonder if at my age I'm contemplating if it is the right decision for me now, because if I were to get like treads, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like a lot of maintenance really to look crazy. I used to do dreads with ribbon wrap and beads. I just want to like part mine into a bunch of little squares and braid them up into thin braids, but thick enough that when I add a few more elastics to the base that they might stand up. Let me do a quick Google search for exactly what it is I'm talking about. And then we will keep it going here on today's show. We'll talk about this Ofuzi. Looks like a pool vacuum we're going to get into soon here. Um, okay. Yeah, like, well, no, not that. That looks not good. Um, Kind of like, I suppose this is kind of like what I'm talking about. Uh, let me open this image in a new tab, and then I'll share this screen with you. Old style Coolio. Okay, I'll open this picture of Coolio as well. Yeah, spider dreads, like old school Coolio. That's what I want. That is exactly what I want. And, uh, I, okay, let's open that image in a new tab as well. So, okay, we'll close this. We don't need any more examples. Close this. And then let's get ready to share our screen with everybody. We'll show a picture of Coolio first. And, uh, okay, let's share our screen with everybody. And let's talk about Coolio for a minute. Yo, rest in peace, you know, Coolio. Coolio was the man. And uh, Coolio made a lot of good music that went underrated. And I can admit that I didn't get the ability to appreciate Coolio as much as I should have. But look at my man's hair. Look at my man's hair here. I love this. I love that he doesn't have his hair um, uh, shaved on the sides. 
because here's another example of the dreads with the shaved sides. And I don't really want that. I don't really want that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't really want that. Also, I don't think that I would mind good ones gone. Yeah, absolutely. Good ones gone, man. Juggalo cool. If you know about if you know about the tattoos that um if you know about the tattoos that Coolio had, he had the word juggalo cool tattooed on his neck. Uh, but the word juggalo has two G's in it, and uh and he had like a single G in it. It was like a misprint on his tattoo. But he rocked it, man. He never cared. You know what I'm saying? Coolio was a juggalo. I think he performed at a gathering once, uh, the music festival. Um, see, I feel you. I knew what you were looking for. Yeah, you got me, Joanna. You got me. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's full screen me again here real quick and see what we're doing next. We're going to pull this and let's close these. Let's close these. Yeah, but that's what I want. And then the way that I try to figure it is because, you know, Coolio's hair has a different texture than my hair. I think that's very clear to see. And so, like, I feel like Coolio can just grab these boys and just pull them out. You know what I'm saying? Mine are thinner and a little, like, wispier, right? So when we put them in, uh, I think they need, like, a little more elastic bands to kind of help them pop up. And then that ain't really happening on the sides. So that's why they shave the sides to help the tops stay up. So I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't have a problem to just section it off in equal squares and just do long dreads, even or braids, excuse me, even if they went down and we put a couple beads on them. Uh, you know, it's just for festival stuff. It's just for fun. It's only for decoration. You know what I'm saying? It's just for decoration. Yo, Stargazer in the chat. What is up? She says, my son wanted dreads when he was young. They just did the twists and that was fine. Um, yeah, everybody has always told me that I have non-ethnic hair, right? So my hair is very long and thin and wispy and it doesn't nap up as easily as, uh, as other hair can. And so I've always been very reluctant to try it, but I think I could, um, I could see your beard straight down in one braid. The thing about the beard is, is that it needs a trim because it's not all one length. So it would be impossible to like corn row the sides down into one thing. And even though I've been growing this for two years, okay, just pinching a few hairs at the bottom, it is more like, yeah, like it's not the longest. It's going to tighten right up and be a really small. I'm going to look like Surge from, from uh, System of a Down or something, okay? Um my late husband used to do that with his chin beard. I usually, because my hair is the way that it is, I might like split it and then do two braids and then two braids, like two braids can be a little bit longer. Okay. Then pulling it all into the center, I feel. So maybe one day I'll do two braids for you, but it's just like what I pulled down here is not the same length up here. So like it doesn't, this ends here and this ends down here. It's hard to tie it into place. I think 2023, Man, it's hard to say. It's it's such an interesting thing. My opinion about myself is that I do agree that the hair should go, but I've put such non-effort into growing it for such a long time. It's been such a an amount of time that I've put into growing it, and it, it takes a long time to assemble, but so easy to destroy, right? And that's kind of like what is like bothering me about it. I'm like, well. I'm not attached to this long hair, but if I cut it, I recognize that I probably will never want to grow my hair long again. And so I wonder, should I just keep going until I've really had enough of it for real? And then like, see how long I can really grow my hair. Even Mima said that it was getting pretty, pretty long. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, uh, he twirl it during the day. You train and start now. I got to start training my beard. I got to start to put a nice part in it right down the middle here and have two nice braids that come off. I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of like, I don't know about that. Here, we'll just give them a quick twist and uh, see. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of looks funny uh, split on the shirt. Okay. Let, <laughs> let's, uh, no, no. Tell me what, keep me updated on what's going on. There is a little bit of lag in the chat, like always. Uh, okay. She'd cut your hair in your sleep. Um, yeah, she probably would if she wanted my hair short enough. 
She lets me express myself how I want, but also she shares how she feels. And she doesn't really like say your hair is too long and it needs to be cut. But she does recognize that like a trim, a trim up would probably be like a good move. So maybe, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it. Yeah, I'm afraid because it took even a trim is going to be a lot. Like if I trim the beard, it's going to come back, like not grow back, but it's going to be pulled back a lot. And uh, I know that I can get just a little bit cut off my hair, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Something will happen. I'll get a haircut eventually. Okay, or at least a trim. All right, now let me uh, still keep it going here. I was so excited to talk about Coolio and stuff uh, and my hair. I didn't get this pool cleaner video open. So let's do that now. And, uh, okay, what happens if we go like this? Pool vacuum made by O5. Oh, yeah, I want it to be small. Okay. And then we pause this. All right. So Amazon yesterday kind of changed the way that live videos look. And so let's take a look at some stuff here uh, in real time. Kind of take a look at what I'm doing here. And let's see how this works out to my advantage. Okay. So we are sharing our screen. Yes. Let's do that now. Excellent. And okay. So now when we load a live video, when we, or when we load a product video, it kind of loads like in the live video section of Amazon. And I don't understand why, but now it just looks like we're watching a live stream within a live stream over here. And, uh, and so, yeah, so like all this unused space on the, uh, on the thing, and this is the full screen mode. This is the full screen mode. Let's go back. Let's go back. This is the regular video mode now when we load a page. And when you load the page, it instantly starts playing. Oops, wrong button. It, the video instantly starts playing. If you pause it and then full screen it, it will instantly start playing cool. full That's screen mode made by oh. uh, with audio. And it has closed captioning on. And the closed captioning is not always right. So I don't. I'm, I feel resistant to these current changes, but, uh, look at this, look at this. We can, we can, uh, we can change the view of our screen by shrinking our Amazon screen. And then that helps make it look a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger like this. And, uh, I guess we can hide our bookmarks bar. Uh, what do we bookmarks show? Okay. So we get a little bit bigger. That's about as big as we're willing to go here today. And let's see how this plays out. So we got really, really small controls on the bottom now, uh, and we can't click anywhere. Okay, let us view this robot pool vacuum video together as we delve into the way that these new Amazon videos look. All right, here we go. Enough of the John. Uh, oh, wait, let's do a little more John. I have natural curls. That's the way... That's the way I am when I get out of the shower. Oh, it's long and pretty, but then it curls right back up. Mima has really naturally curly hair as well, and she doesn't straighten it too often. And uh, we were watching. Uh, Mima is uh, getting some gray hair. She's getting like a gray streak in her hair, and she's like not wanting to show her age like that. She wants to cover the hair with hair dye. And uh, we were watching some funny videos of this guy who I think is pretty funny on the internet. Uh, yeah, a streak is fun. Okay. Uh, and, and this man's girlfriend has like a nice streak in her hair is like a purple streak. I don't know, whatever color she had that time. She changes it up. And, uh, and I was like, that doesn't look too bad. And then now she seems like I'm into it or something. So I think she's going to try it out. And we've got some very old, years old. Okay, let me let me reinstate how old the dye is. I've had the dye for a while while I was actively dyeing my hair. Then I haven't gotten my hair dyed since the beginning of 2020. So I have all of these open and used Joico hair products, uh, hair dyes. And, uh, and I wonder what the shelf life on them is. And she said that she was, Mima said that she was maybe interested in trying one of those colors out. So I definitely told her to do some due diligence and understand that she's putting the right thing in her hair. If it has an expiry date, I'm uncertain. And absolutely, uh, we won't use it if it's not good for her. But I think Mima might dye her, dye a streak in the front of her hair. 
I think she might do that. And I think she might do it next weekend, but I'm only speculating because I'm not really good at listening. And so I think that, uh, here, let's play this video. Fuzzy. So I think that, uh, jump on, Brian. Uh, that's okay. We'll just let it play. Like, we'll just mute it for a second. Okay. A fuzzy pool cleaner. Definitely. You can read what's going on there at the bottom of the screen, but yeah, Mima though, she, I think is going to do the color if she can. And, uh, Joanna says I was born with white hair, then got darker, but was already mostly gray again in my teens. So color, color, uh, I, my mom would never let me dye my hair when I was young, but she, she wouldn't let me put bleach or anything in it to make it yellow. But I, I was always allowed to like mess around and try to lighten it with like lemon juice and the sun and other hair lightening techniques. But I was never allowed to bleach it. And so when I got older, I really did experiment a lot with a lot of different colors. And even now at 41 years old, I do like the idea of kind of like punk rocky, sort of like alternative sort of looking um, uh, aesthetic. If I were to shorten my hair up, I think that I would express myself by dyeing it bright colors again. Uh, and I'm not above like dyeing it like a split color. I'll do split colors. I like all that type of stuff. And, um, especially like when I was going to a lot of concerts, the concerts always had like posters and themes and those themes would be like having colors. Right. So I might dye my hair specifically for that show. And uh, that's really cool because it always helps me kind of like look back in my memories on social media and look at pictures and be like, oh, that's when this was. I remember this because of the color of my hair. And uh, that's really fun. Um, that's cool. Just to compliment her. So she'll feel good. I've been every shade except black, including rainbow. When my daughter asked me to, it was like rainbow bright from kids TV. Yeah, I did rainbow bright. I'll grab a I'll grab a link. We can be done with the product camera so we can remove this. Oops, wrong button to remove. Excuse me. We can remove. Oh, leave. Okay. Leave. Leave. Double check this. Yes, we're good. <coughs> and then, um, okay, let me, uh, let me grab a picture of my rainbow bright hair. I love the hair too. Mima did the hair and it looked so, so good. Uh, she did an excellent job. It wasn't, it wasn't exactly what I had envisioned. Uh, but when it was all said and done, it actually looked better. It looked better than what I, than what I had, uh, before. So let me find these really awesome pictures. Uh, they have to exist somewhere. And, um, let me, uh, I'll share some social media with you. Let me open these pictures and we can talk about some stuff. Uh, but I got to find that picture for you where my hair is a rainbow. So it ain't going to be in these pictures. So let me go to albums and let me let, check my profile pictures. Maybe I uploaded it as a profile picture. No, no way. No way, Jose. I'll find it. It's pretty easy to find. I just haven't had to look for it for a while. And then I'll show you some pictures of me with, oh, the video's done? Okay, hold on. Okay, so the Ofuzi um, pool vacuum is available today for $240, and that is 29% off of its $39.99 average retail value. So save 29% today on this great pool vacuum. Uh, all right, now let's full screen me. Okay, that's what we do here. And then we'll close this Amazon page. And then we're going to talk about the infrared sauna blanket. So let's do that. And uh, does this do what I want it to do? No, but if I go like this, then yes. Okay. All right. So let's have, let's listen to this video for a minute or two. I know it's a little bit, is Discord best place for you to check? Um, yeah, for you to send me a message, probably because we're connected uh, through the Dragon Blogger discord since we're on the same server you should be able to dm me if you haven't before and uh yeah just hit me with the thing i sent you the uh, picture oh yeah right right yeah just hit me up there then for sure okay let's play this video about this life pro uh sauna wrap and then 
I want to show you some pictures of me with short hair. And I want to show you the picture of me with uh, rainbow hair. That's the whole point that we're doing this right now. So let's jump back here and let's listen to this. One to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Oops. It does also have the timer options of setting it from five to 60 minutes. It's great for fat loss, detoxing, pain and inflammation relief, and just overall well being. And what I found really unique is that there's actual braille. And I love that they incorporated that into the plug itself. Plugs in like this. It's as simple as that. Power, temperature, you can crank this baby up. You can change the time. I can see already that this is where the head is because as a fact, they included like a neck area. So that way when you're laying in it, you are even more comfortable. Go into your cocoon like a butterfly. <laughs> And feel rejuvenated. There's definitely a lot of space in here. And I can see why this would be so cozy. Like already it's heating up all the way around. And I just turned it on. What I also appreciate is the fact that it doesn't have a strong odor. Like this is straight out of the box. And already it's it's not like a odor on the material or on the leather. I'm trying to get this to zip up a little more, but I think it's because I need to be a little bit more in my cocoon. <laughs> As you can see, I'm 5'1". So, I mean, I'm telling you, <laughs> there's a lot of space in here. And man, is it cozy and warm. Oh my goodness. I... I think I'm just going to love this. This is perfect for just muscle recovery, cramps, muscle fatigue, and just overall well-being. And I'm really looking forward to using this at night as well in hopes that it may improve my sleep. So relaxing. And the zipper goes all the way around. So if I wanted to, I could literally... Unzip it all the way. So you can go all the way up to the, where the plug is at, making it even more perfect. It could even be used like if you're feeling cold and want something warm because the top layer and the bottom layer are both heating up. You're literally in a cocoon of coziness. I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. I always see that picture and I can never find it today. I spent that entire video looking for it, but I will find it during this stream and I will show it to you. Now, I didn't have it highlighted during the video, but that was the Life Pro Infrared Sauna Blanket and it is available today for $400 and this has a four and a half star rating with um, just under 900 reviews, 855 reviews to be specific. Now, we've got another video that we want to take a look at here, so let me get that set up for us to enjoy. And this is going to be, oh wait, no, the Prolux Core Floor Buffer doesn't have a price on it, so we're going to skip this one again today. And uh, let's go to, I believe this is the Delta Max. So yes, this is the Delta Max, so let's grab this video 
and we are going to have Dragon Blogger Nate talk to us about this video. But before we do, station from EcoFlow. This relax, is the EcoFlow. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, before we do that, though, if you're watching, I'm going to show you the picture of me. Um, this is in the summer of 2017. Not the best picture of me, I guess, but I did like that I had the blue and the green hair. Uh, ex excuse me, the blue and pink hair. Uh, I did that special for a very special concert that we went to. And uh, this is my friend. This is, this is my friend from Virginia. I love him a lot. He's a great guy. And uh, we do all of our, we do all of our fun. Uh, it looks like a bat squishing her. It's so funny. We do all of our fun stuff together. Uh, this crazy life that we live. He's my best concert friend. And uh, I haven't seen him in a while. I haven't seen him in almost a year. So I'm super stoked to get to see him soon. All right, though, let us switch back here to. Oh, you guys didn't see you guys didn't see my bad. There we go. So this is a picture of me and my friend. This is a picture of me and my friend Ross. And I love him a lot. And uh, I dyed my hair blue and purple here. I love the colors. Colors look so vibrant and good. Uh, I love a fresh dyed job on fresh blonde hair. Oh, gosh, that looks so good. I need to get my hair cut and start dyeing it again. Man, I look good. But also my neck exists and like, whoa, maybe I shouldn't be showing you my neck so much. You know what I mean? All right. Now, I want to keep it going here, but uh, let me check something out. Uh, we got a few products and a half an hour left. So we are pretty much on time here. But before, uh, okay, let's play the EF EcoFlow Delta Max video. And uh, I'm just going to keep looking for this rainbow hair. I know a picture of it exists online. It's just multiple years on the same social media platform. It's difficult for me to uh, navigate and find that thing. But it was in the year of 2019 because it wasn't 2021. It wasn't last year. There was no show 2020, 2019. It could have been 2019 or 2018. <clears throat> excuse me so i am gonna take a, a closer look while we uh, watch this love the expression oh i love dude we love our lives we love our lives when we're getting to do the things that we love all right let's though jump into this delta max video and uh hopefully when we come back i'll be able to share with you a picture of my rainbow hair i know it exists all right here's nate oh delta max now i have worked with numerous EcoFlow products in the past and this is one of their highest end models that is available and this thing is an absolute beast and i say max because it definitely is max in all aspects of its build it's so big that it actually has dual exhaust fans so you can see here on the back side that it has fans to bring out some of that heat and then on the other side it's going to have fans to bring in cooler air and then also here on the bottom you're going to notice that you have external power to extend the life of this with other units and this does have a ton of charging capabilities as you guys can see here right here on the front panel you're going to have six individually grounded ac outlets with x boost which is going to allow you to basically power small kitchen appliances and some larger kitchen appliances for quite a long time and then down here at the bottom you're going to have your standard 12 volt outlet that's going to allow you to charge this machine from your car or charge other machines that use that 12 volt outlet on top you have a ton of different charging options so on the left here you actually have support for solar chargers and that's going to allow you to basically keep this thing up and going no matter where you're at so if you're camping you can definitely keep this charged and then you're going to have your standard 120 volt outlet and a little circuit breaker just in case anything goes wrong taking a look at the front panel here Likewise, of all of their other machines, you're going to have some USB ports. But the cool thing about this one is you're actually going to have two USB-C 100 watt. To put that into perspective, most of your phones only charge at 25 watts, and these can output at 100, which is absolutely crazy. Turning on the screen right here, you're going to notice right there in the middle that we only have this charge to about 42%, and it's giving us an expected battery charging time of 83 hours. I found hours. the pictures. Now, that's obviously going to change when you plug something in. But just expected 83 hours on 42% charge is crazy. You can also see your input wattage and your output wattage right up there on the right side of the screen as well. 
And also one of the coolest things that EcoFlow does with all of their products is the app control of everything. So you can see right here, you can turn on and off X boost mode. You can control all of the different power cycles for each of the charging components. You can see input whenever you're charging it. There's just a ton of features in this app that allow you to control it. And then also within the settings, there's a bunch of different things that you can control in here. So you're definitely going to be able to get this thing set up exactly how you want it. And one of my favorite things about this machine is just how many ports there are. So as you guys can see here, you have six ports. You can run things that are standard 120 volt outlet while also charging your devices. This thing is so powerful. You can actually power a microwave. I feel like some people might not believe me. All right, guys, so this is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger checking out the EcoFlow Delta Max. This is definitely a beast of a unit, and I highly recommend it. See you on the next video. Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Thank you so much for that great video about the Delta Max 2, sorry. Uh, the Delta Max, excuse me. The EF EcoFlow portable power station known as the Delta Max. Uh, okay, now today this excellent, excellent battery is available for $1,600. That's $1,599, all right? And this is 24, 24 excuse me, percent off of its average retail value when it's not on sale. You're going to scoop this up for $2,099, all right? So save a couple hundred dollars today when you add this one to your cart and uh okay i did find the pictures but i do realize that like my shirt is off in the picture so i just want to like crop it so that we don't have to look at all that you know what i'm saying and uh let me let me make sure that both of the pictures are good to go Okay, let me just drag this over here and make sure that that's okay. All right, cool. Are you looking? This is the time to look. All right. So uh, I don't even remember how I asked Mima to do it, but she ended up doing it a completely different way, and it looked so good. <laughs> and there might be some other pictures that do exist where um, – there might be other pictures that do exist – where you can see this differently. But these are the two pictures that I got. So I hope that you're looking now. And uh, here they are. This is the picture of me with uh, my rainbow hair. And Mima did such a good job. We used all the colors that we had. It just looks so sick. And uh, yeah, it looks kind of good while it's kind of thinning on the top there in my bald spot area. But here's the other picture where it is on the back of my head. Where my bald spot doesn't seem so prominent. But uh, let's zoom out a bit. Yeah, look at that hair, dude. That's so awesome. I wish that I could do this hair again. I think that that would look so fresh. It's kind of layered, isn't it, uh, the way that it looks. And she did such a great job. And I really loved when she did this hair for me. Man, this makes me really want to cut my hair again and start dyeing it wild colors. Because I think it would be so great if I did that. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Took good color. Yeah, the hair does take good color. And these are good colors. This is like a little Canadian product. It's difficult for me to recommend because I've um, I've looked for it on Amazon.com. And I just can't find it. And But it does exist on Amazon.ca. But we don't talk about Amazon.ca links around here. So, um yeah, unfortunately, I can't talk about it. it is a Joyco product. I can say that, I guess. But you can't find it in .com. Unfortunately, that's the truth. Okay, now let's keep it moving here. I love that hair color. Man, it's really getting me excited about the prospect of the new season, okay? Uh, new spring season. I feel like I need this new weather to come so bad. I, I'm Gene begging for it. Made by All right, let's get into this video that's so already This one right here is really extremely light, and then it has perfect steps on how to set up, and it's really easy to do so. With this right here, there's all the parts laid on the floor for you guys. You have the, the main parts, 
which are the bolts and the screws, which they're all labeled by steps, which is pretty cool. But that has the main monitor that has the right arm, and then it has also the right arm extension, it has the middle pole, that has the inside hand held parts, and then you have the left side. It's all labeled also with this right here. Like I said, that's the left arm right there. And then you also have the right arm on that side. And it's all labeled with stickers saying L and R, which is pretty cool with that. So with this machine, it is an elliptical. So it works a lot of body, a lot of body parts right here. So here this is here. This is it right here set up. And it is a really light piece, not too big, not too wide. It's like the perfect uh elliptical for you can have this in your office, a bonus room, or even in your room. It is a phenomenal piece, and I do uh, enjoy it, and it was really easy to set up. So like I said, the first two things are going to be these two bolts right here. You're going to shoot them up from the bottom, then you're going to put the little cap nuts around that side. And then on the other side, you're going to do the same thing, which it has an arrow pointing up just like that. So you're going to put the screws on there on the bottom going up, and then you're going to bolt that off with the nut at the very top. Like I said, it has those wheels too, really durable. You can move it around really easy. It doesn't really weigh much at all. I would say it weighed like 40 pounds to me. Uh, like I said, really easy to set up. The next part you will want to touch on is going to be the, the middle piece right there. So there's uh, about five five bolts right there that you'll screw in. Three little ones and two, two long ones that shoot across really easy. And then it has the little covers that you can put on top of that whenever you're done with that. And it has two arm handles like i said it's all labeled left side and the right side it takes uh two bolts right there and they just shoot through and like i said it has net nuts on the back on that side and the same thing goes for the other side also and then with this part right here it was really easy there's a wire that shoot down you'll make that you'll want to make that shoot down and then you put that uh bolt in the back side and you'll tighten that up and they'll shoot down connect to the bottom part like i said really easy to move as you can see it's not that heavy at all and again, these are the tools right here that you use that it comes with. Really unique tools right here. You can use it for anything. So you can keep these tools out there too, to use for other stuff. Again, this is me right here. I'm gonna jump on this and show you guys how efficient this is and how how it works. So pretty much you're gonna just ride this like it's like you're just like you're running, and it's like you're climbing a mountain, and you can actually feel the burn with this one. You can switch handles if you want to, you could do a freehand like that. And on the display screen, you can have the notches right there where I just turned up, which is going to calculate the uh, the more I have to push and, you know, go faster or if I want to have it down. Like I said, really easy uh, equipment to function. And I do highly recommend this to you guys. And again, this is made by USUTA. And thank you guys for watching this video. Dang it, that's twice in a row today. I forgot to highlight the product while we were watching the video about it. I had to keep up on that one. Now, the Osuda Pro Cardio uh, uh, machine is available today for $340 and has a four and a half star rating with 380 reviews. All right, now we're going to keep it moving here. Uh, outside of this um, uh, cross trainer with hyper quiet magnetic drive outside of the elliptical machine. We're going to move on to the luxury 10 inch hybrid mattress. Okay. This is going to be the queen size one. I can't remember if this is a James or Nate video. Uh, let's check it out together though. And all right, let's get in. Oh, this is okay. I get this video. All right, let's check this out. It comes with a safe blade, a manual and a mattress in a box. After you unbox your mattress, position it on the bed. Use the safe blade. This is so you don't cut the actual fabric with scissors or something else. And then let it unfold and release. You'll want to let it expand and inflate for about 72 hours for it to reach full expansion. It was a lot of fun to watch it expand. We definitely had a fun time seeing this roll of mattress all of a sudden turn into a plushy amazing mattress this mattress is compatible with a flat surface so it could be on a slated bed box spring or even on the floor it combines comfortable sturdy pur us memory foam with durable independent pocket coils 
The individually wrapped coils move independently for more targeted support and reduce motion transfer, enhance airflow, and work to relieve painful pressure points on the spine and body. This mattress was designed with a breathable knitted fabric cover, which helps it to dissipate body heat and allow for airflow. This makes the mattress stay cool and breathable. This mattress came in a box, very compact. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I thought, you know, how can you have a mattress, a full queen size mattress in such a small box? And when I tried to lift it, it was very heavy. I guess uh, between 70 to 80 pounds. Brought it upstairs and opened the box. That's when I realized it was uh, vacuum packed. And um, I, I put it on the bed and then opened it up. It's It was a perfect size for this bed. And what I really, really liked was the, the blade that it came with. It's like an envelope opener. Uh, it wouldn't damage the fabric. If you use scissors, it'll probably damage the fabric as well. So when I opened it up, I could hear the air gushing in the plastic bag and um, slowly and gradually it raised. And when it you know, fully raised to its regular size, that's when I realized, wow, this is not a joke. It's a real mattress. And it is soft. The top level here is it's about this thick. Um, I would say about four or five inches thick of uh, memory foam. Underneath that uh, are the spring. And it's nice and firm. I like it. I like firm beds. Hey, what's up, Jennifer Lude? Yeah, we're just watching this video about this mattress. We're good on it. We watched it all. The Huxury 10-inch Queen mattress is available today for... Uh, oh, wait. Where's the mattress? Oh, here's the here's the mattress. Okay, the the queen mattress is available today for two hundred and seventy nine dollars and eighty nine cents. So basically two hundred and eighty dollars. Yo, what is up, Jennifer Lude? I hope that you're doing very well. Thanks for coming out today and joining me here on Clown Live. It is Tuesday. We're just in business mode. We got twenty minutes left in today's stream. We're gonna definitely smash out the carousel in that amount of time. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that's cheap for a bed. Yeah, I think so too. Under three hundred dollars. <laughs> for a queen size, I mean, $300 for a queen size, I'd buy this thing for like a secondary use. Like again, as you all know me, always constantly talking about it, this would be like a great replacement for the bed in the house, for sure. How about the bed in the camper, right? The bed in the camper is very comfortable. The mattress that I have actually is a pillow top mattress that my friend what used for a few years. And then he's like, I'm going to get rid of this because whatever special circumstances. <clears throat> and he got a new bed. So he was going to throw his other one away. And I'm like, well, do you mind if I take like the mattress, you might've slept on it, but at least it's only you. And he's like, yeah, dude, I don't care. Go ahead. So I ended up a couple of years ago, replacing the mattress in the camper with this. Um, yeah, you can follow me. I was holding my hand up long enough there. But yeah, I got it for free and I put it in the camper, nice pillow top. We put a blanket on top of it and then we put the mattress cover on top of it, like the uh, the, the bed sheet. Oh, dude, I love my mattress in my camper so much. And uh, I bet this would be a really, really acceptable replacement. It's only 300 bucks. I'm looking at trying to buy a brand new tent right now for shade and you can't even sleep on a tent. And that is $300 what I'm looking at. Uh, so yeah, definitely 300 bucks seems to be the right price. And once again, the rating on this is going to be four, four and a half stars with 541 reviews. Now I wonder if I'm screwing up some things here. Let's see. No, we did this. We did this. We skipped the Prolux. Okay. We did these. Okay. So home. Okay. So where are we at now? Eufy by anchor home vac. Is this the H30? Is this even in my carousel right now? No. All right. Give me a quick second here to get some things in order. Let me get some quick things in order here so that we make sure we cover all the products that we need to cover in today's show. And we see that we have this vacuum. Is this the H30?
can't even read anything because I shrank the page. This is the H30. Okay, let me skip the box but grab the vacuum. I do have it here, the physical vacuum. <coughs> Pardon me. And let's talk about this real fast. Oh, hello. Hello. All right, so this is the Eufy by Anchor Home Vac H30. Today it's available for $110. This is a nice vacuum that has a battery that offers you up to 20 minutes of, of cleaning time. It offers an eco mode and a high mode and has a very large dust bin inside of it. Uh, now, the dust collection area has this great filter that is reusable and washable uh, so that you can reuse it. And that's really great. It has this power head on top of it that spins when, when the power is on. So you can agitate the surface of what you want to clean. And it's really easy to charge by dropping it into this base. The bottom of the base is weighted to hold it in a very sturdy place. And it comes with this extension crevice tool that also features a brush. That and the, Let me put this down over here. And it features this crevice tool that has this brush on the extension. So you can pull it up and do what you need to do with the brush. And then you can press the button and retract it to just expose the edge of the crevice tool. Very, very cool device, and it's easy to unplug and plug the other one uh, 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 accessory into the HomeVac H30. Uh, you can plug the base into the wall. It has cable management for that base to charge the H30. Also, you can mount it. Um, you can put it on a hard, solid surface. You can mount it to the wall. Pretty versatile little base there. And today on an, an amazing deal, all right, this is $110, $109.99. Uh, and this is 39% off of its average retail value, which is going to be 180. So save like 70 bucks today. If you add this one to your cart, uh, we use this every day. This is an amazing little handheld vacuum and, uh, okay, good. So we covered that one. All right. And then now we're going to talk about Fantic V8 mate. Okay. But, but Fantic V8 mate is not in my carousel okay let's skip v8 mate for a moment just for a quick moment luxury syncom foot massager syncom foot massager so if we don't okay all right so let's cover our last product in our carousel i just had a little bit of a discrepancy between what i'm looking at for today's show and what is populated in the carousel but i'm back on track now and i just see on my on my show notes today we didn't have the vacuums. We didn't have the two vacuums. So that's no problem. We're going to show them now. Or I did have the Fantic V8 mate. I, I have it on the table. But it doesn't say H30. Because it would be Anchor if it was. Or Eufy. And I don't have either of those. But I do have Fantic right here. Okay, no problem. I'm only confusing myself. Here we go. We're going to carry on. Let's talk about the physical product that's highlighted in the carousel. And this is going to be the Fantic V8 Mate. Now, let me put this other vacuum back here really quickly before we talk about this handheld vacuum. <coughs> <coughs> Let's drink a little bit of water as well before we start talking. All right, now this is going to be the Fantic V8 Mate. I was setting it up because I thought the camera was together, but here's the box. Boom, good enough. Now let's take a, take a quicker look at the product. Now the V8 Mate comes with some great accessories that are in this bag, and this bag is a cinch sack design, but we will get into that in a moment. Let's take a look at the piece de resistance first, and that is going to be the Fantic V8 Mate cordless handheld vacuum. It charges via USB-C, and it has a dust bin that is 120 milliliters. It has a filter inside that is removable and replaceable, uh, also cleanable and reusable. You can unlock the dust bin by pulling the lid down and pressing the button to open it up. You can dump it out to access the filter. We unlock the dust bin from the vacuum itself. Oops, sorry for banging that vacuum on my desk. And then we can remove this filter, which is washable and replaceable you can put it back in easy to pull today because mima just recently washed this okay now easy to put back into place we just line it up drop it into place lock it good to go it's not going to come off this features an eco mode and a high powered mode that offer a few different time 
times of cleaning. I think you get 12 minutes with eco and 20 with, with, uh, full, um, 12 with eco, 20 with eco and 12 with full. Let me see if that says it on the box. No, no problem. But I do see that it comes in different colors. It comes in black, white, blue, and green. Whoa. I obviously have the black one here. Let's click through this carousel and look at these other colors right quick. Because we got 10 minutes left and we only got two products. Let's see. Colors, 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 c -c -c colors. Co Whoa, the blue one is really nice. Wow, the blue one is super nice. And so is the white one. Oh, I like the white one with the yellow writing, but I really like this blue one with the uh, with the gray writing. Click through the carousel now and look at the different colors. It says three colors here. It says three colors here, but four on the box. Black, white, blue, green. So we just don't see the green one here. That's okay. That's okay. The blue one looks super fresh. Okay, $89.99 today, and you can apply a $20 coupon, so you can really save a couple dollars when you add the Fantic to your cart today. Now, I was just saying that because we were looking at the product page, but let me jump back to this cinch sack design that is having your Fantic V8 Mate held securely in the sack with all of its accessories. It says V8 Mate on the tag right on the side. Fantic big branding. You know what you've got here. And let's take a look now at these accessories. My favorite one. Okay, I'm going to reach in and pull it out first. Nope. This is not my favorite tool, but it is the crevice extension. Okay, the crevice tool. And it has the brush. Now the brush, it plugs into the extension, but the brush also plugs into the V8 Mate as well. So you don't need to have the crevice tool on if you don't want. Now, also, you're going to get some standard parts here. You get the you get the you this head that has the rubber nubs on it. I think this is good for animal hair. And this slides off and has like a softer padding so that you can drag it across your desktop very easily without scratching. I'm going to pick that piece up in just a moment that I dropped. And then uh, also, it has the USB-C cable for charging. And it comes with a small brush so that you can clean your filter a little bit easier and now this is my favorite part it comes with a bendy hose extension crevice tool i just think this thing is the coolest little gizmo for a handheld vacuum and uh, this can be yours today if you click through the carousel and add the fantic v8 mate to your cart it's 90 dollars today with a 20 dollars applicable coupon <laughs> and these are, this is just another set of, uh, this is just another great vacuum that helps keep things clean on the go, whether it's just a quick job inside the house, or you want to do something lightly in the car. Uh, or again, for me, take one with me when we do camping, it helps like kind of suck up some dust. Like when you go do dusty camping sometimes and dust is blowing through your windows, this can definitely help keep that clean. I feel all right. Uh, $90 with a $20 coupon. Now we can get into our final product in today's carousel, and this is going to be the Syncom Foot Massager. So let me grab the video for that, okay? And then we will take a look at it together, and uh, and then we'll see what happens with the rest of the show. Now we're going to close this, and let's just jump into this video right away. I am to Foot Massager. This is model number CM-002F, right? So guys, this has three intensities, two modes, and it has an, an auto timer, which can go from 10 minutes to 20 minutes to 30 minutes to auto shut off. It also has heat, which is very, very cool. Now they use, claim that this is really helpful for uh, leaving uh, plantar fasciitis pain, which is kind of cool. Also it helps improve body circulation, you know, air pressure and kneading. It has little leg feet that you'll have to go in. Now remember guys, Size of your foot does matter in this. 11 and a half feet or 11 and a half inches for men, 13 inches for women. Uh, you will be able to fit your foot in there, but it won't get a full body massage of your foot. Another little kind of thing is cool is the on and back side here. They show your feet and they show, you know, like little certain pinpoints of what they claim that it helps relieve and helps uh, helps with. So what's inside the package? Let's pull it open and show you guys this. Uh, as you guys see, we are working in a small confined area. I don't have a big area right now for this. So we're going to kind of do this this way. If you guys need it, 
the instruction manual, right? Just the standard instruction manual tells you how to use it. Tells you the uh, panel, how to use the panel and all that good stuff. The next thing, if I can get it out, is the standard power brick, right? Just a standard house power brick. We'll show you guys this. Standard and then circle plug. We'll show you guys how to hook it up in a few. And then the next is the device. So once we have that out, we do not need this no more. We will unstrap it right here. We will take the plastic off and then we will unplasticify this. So we have the device. I'm going to bring it a little closer so you guys can see this. Nice gray egg domed. Their logo, right? Four nice little rubber feet on the side is where you'll plug it in for the power. And then down here you have the deflate button. Power button, timer, mode A, mode B, air pressure, and heat. Now, this little feet uh, inserts, guys, can be unzipped to be washed which is very cool. Now you have 44 pinpoints inside here, guys, with kneading balls, which is kind of cool. I wish I could show you guys that. Right here is your deflate button. The deflate button is if the airbags go too tight and you get worried, hit the deflate, it'll deflate it, pull your feet out. Very cool, very simple. I'm gonna change views. I'm actually gonna plug this in. I'm gonna show you guys this in action. Uh, this one does not have a remote, so everything is by push button. Guys, give me a second. We will actually change views. Okay, now that you guys see this, we brought you in closer. We got your top-down view, right? Slide your feet in just like this. As you can see, my size 12 and a half, 13 feet fit in it, but they stick out the back, so you're not getting the full massage. Hit the power. We are on P1, and it is kneading back and forth. You can feel it is very nice, very well. Let's turn some heat on, right? High heat. Air pressure, level two, get it going, and we're working. Let's hit level three. We're going to actually let that air pressure work good. Now it's actually cinching in around my feet, and I can feel this. This actually feels very, very good. Oh, that is excellent, guys. So we're going to hit mode one, which is P1, right? Let's hit P2. Level three, heat on, high two, off, high one, high two. We're going to go to a heat two. It's compressing, and then it'll stop, then it'll go back, right? Right now, it's in pressing all the way up, pressing down on my feet, which is very cool. It is stopped. Deflating, now back to massaging. As you guys can see, my feet move, stops, inflates. Now, let's go back to P1, right? We're going to go to level two. We're definitely going to leave the heat on two, which is very, very cool. Now, this is a full massage of the feet, and I can actually feel it pin doing my toes, my bottom of my feet. The very back almost to the end where it sticks out, which unfortunately my feet are rather large, so it's not getting the full up to like a tight, deep massage, which is very cool. Anyways, guys, this is the Simcom uh, foot massager. Thanks for checking out this quick video, guys, and have a great day. Thank you so much, James, for talking to us about the Simcom foot massager with heat. Uh, looks pretty interesting. I've never had something like this to stick my feet into. I know when giveaways were super popping on the channel, people were, uh, people were winning things like these, but I never, I guess that was a lot of knee braces though. Not really a lot of foot massagers, but there were still some, there were still some. And, uh, yeah, these look really interesting. I mean, I never really... 
Like I'm not like afraid of like or bothered by getting my feet touched, but I do react like in a ticklish way occasionally. So I find it difficult to relax to receive something like a foot massage, but I'd like to. I wish that I could, but I can't. I'm too ticklish. The sink. So I wonder if this would help me because it's not a person touching me. If a, because it's not a person touching me, I wonder if I would remain. Excuse me. I wonder if I would remain ticklish. Now, the Syncom Foot Massager is available today at 53% off, pardon me again, of its average retail value, and that is $168.99. I had to catch my breath there a little bit. Uh, for $169, this is how much you can get the Syncom Foot Massager for, but today, massive, massive deal, 53% off, all right, making it $80 when you add this to your cart today. Let me click through some carousel stuff here and find out if, uh, if uh, I guess we just click here. Uh, do we get a coupon on this? No coupon, but 53% is still an amazing, amazing deal. Uh, I think uh, when you're talking about a rebate, 53% on, on anything is a great deal. All right, yo, that is pretty much today's episode of Clown Live. We just got a couple minutes here, so I just want to slowly thank everybody for coming out and joining me here on this episode. You know, everybody's support means so much to me. Joanna, your support, hanging out with me in the chat and really engaging with me in the chat and having a conversation. It is a really welcome thing. You know, we don't always have to be talking products. We don't always have to be staying hard within that two hour timeline. Uh, you know, if we're vibing, I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? And so, uh, if you're on PC, if you're on mobile, whoa, yeah, I don't even, if, if you are one of the three people, if you are not Stargazer or Joanna, who's currently following, and you're that elusive third person that's watching right now, uh, and you're not following, definitely hit follow, but the gesture is well received, and I thank you so kindly for saying that you are a real person too. Uh, oh, thank you, Joanna. You know, I'm kind of just flying by the seat of my pants and I'm not even exactly sure what I said about real people or not. But uh, anything that I say is always in jest. I could never be any kind of impolite or not recognize. I mean, I am a real person, I guess. All right. I'm going to go do some affirmations in the mirror after today's show uh, because I'm good enough. I'm kind enough. And gosh darn it, people like me. OK. Uh, all right. So to you, Joanna, and you as well, Stargazer, thank you for coming and joining me on today's show. Jennifer Lude, you as well. Everybody that comes and spends time on the show is so important. Uh, who else got the opportunity to chat a little bit today? Evans popped in an hour ago. Rover was here. I didn't get to see Rover earlier. So it's nice to see you guys come in and saying some smart things. Oh, yeah. I'm smart enough. I'm good enough. And gosh darn it people like me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, with only a minute left, I'm just going to keep reading all these wonderful comments uh, that Joanna's putting in the chat. Uh, very validating and very, very kind of you, Joanna. Um, yeah. So yeah, not seen Rover in forever. I know things are, uh, things are like so different on Amazon, aren't they? Some of our friends, they haven't had an opportunity to come and visit in quite some time, but it was nice seeing Rover today while he was here and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see him tomorrow rising sun you're so real wow i'm so glad that you're here as well thank you for joining me at the end of today's show you know uh, you guys are always always welcome to say anything in the chat and really like i can't i can't stress that one enough because i do love chatting with you guys about anything uh you can uh we can make jokes like we make jokes with nate you know whatever you guys want to say uh i'm always down to roll with the punches but with all of that I do love you more than the English language is capable of allowing me to articulate. So thank you very kindly for coming into today's episode of Clown Live. We will be live tomorrow on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's in about 22 hours from now when we go live again. And that's it. I was listening and cooking a delicious dinner. Wow. I think that I am going to. You want to hear a, a crazy thing about my personal finances real quick? I will share just this little personal anecdote about my money. And then uh, and then we're going to end today's show. So what we do for like establishing and maintaining our good credit rating is we have like this credit card. And we use this credit card 
like every two weeks, like it has a very small amount of money and it helps us maintain like a, a regular budget uh, for things that we buy like food and fuel specifically we use this card for. And so we pay the card like uh, when we get paid, we'll pay the card on Friday when we get paid. And then the money generally doesn't clear until Monday. Uh, and so um, Mima last night was coming home from work and she stopped at the gas station and she went to put the, uh, she went to put like 50 bucks in gas in the truck. And when she went in to pay with the card, the payment was declined. The payment was declined on the card. And I'm like, well, okay. I don't understand why that even would be. She was telling me on the phone and, uh, and we come to the conclusion today, Mima contacted the card company. We had some questions about the card. And Mima indicated that, hey, you had sent us some new cards to replace the old cards that we have. And so our old cards are still, we're, I don't even know, I don't know verbatim what she said, but she was like, hey, you sent us new cards to replace our old cards. Mima said, I think I lost the new cards. So can you send new, new cards? And they were like, yeah, no problem. Uh, and then they canceled our old cards and our old cards are our current cards as we never activated our new cards. If you're following, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. So she goes with the old card to pay and it's declined. The payments declined. What an unfortunate series of events that was. I don't know why that would open. I wonder why that would open. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, so frustrating. Yeah, frustrating. So she calls me. She's uncertain what to do. And, I, and I'm and i like, well, we live in this town. You know, this is one of the places that we get fuel the most frequently. Just give them a copy of your driver's license and tell them you'll pay them tomorrow. So she did that, and it was copacetic. And then, uh, and then when she came home today, this, or excuse me, this morning, this is when we found out all this information. So Mima's feeling a little frustrated because uh, all of the money that we use for food and fuel is on that card. So it's like locked up right now for us until our new cards arrive. And I literally don't know when that is. So, ugh, so frustrating. Um, I'm thinking that the heat bill might get paid like a little bit later. You know what I'm saying? Cause we might have to use some cash while we wait for these new cards to come in and become activated. So we just started dealing with that today. Hopefully it's not going to be too frustrating. This is another uh, great example of why always don't just go digital cash. Don't just go digital cash. Having cash on hand is also very important. So I think I learned that lesson uh, again today. I haven't had to learn that lesson for a long, long time, but uh, yeah, this one's a little bit frustrating today. So whatever it is, what it is, uh, we're going to get by. You can see where my belly was leaning against the desk again today. That's this little strip right here. And uh, yeah. Okay. So sorry. Oh, you don't have to be sorry. I was just sharing an anecdote. I do appreciate that validation though. Absolutely. I do. So I think, uh, yeah, you're too honest. Well, we couldn't drive off because, well, she wasn't, I wasn't there. She couldn't drive off because then that would have been like really bad. And Mima, she's like, well, I don't want them to think this and I don't want that. And I'm like, look, I don't want to like dismiss. I don't want to be dismissive of your concerns, but this is a multi-million dollar business. Okay. And they have a promotion where they give away 20,000 prizes every day. You know what I'm saying? So like, I don't think they're worried about 50 bucks and it's not going to make a bad name on us if we're a couple of days late while we wait for our money. And, and, and Mima's so Mima, like we don't have the cash, right? That's basically what I'm getting at. We don't have the cash to fall back on, to pay the cash debt today while we wait for the cards. So, <clears throat> so she's like, so she's like, well, maybe I'll just call my mom and ask her for 50 bucks. I'm like, why would you push a $50 debt off onto your mother? When it, this multi-million dollar corporation, it, it's not even a blip on their screen, you know? It's not even a problem. So she was a little frustrated, but I had to explain to her kind of like, review what you're thinking, like re reframe how you're thinking about it because you shouldn't have to push the debt off like that. So yeah, so that's what happened. That's the anecdote. It's not a big deal, but that did happen today. And I was reminded of it when Joanna said, 
I'm not sure what she said to make me think of that, but I know she was the one that got me thinking about it. All right. We are done today's show. What a fun anecdote. I'm super broke. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate you all immensely. Okay. Thank you very kindly for joining me here today on this Amazon live interactive shopping experience presented by shopping dragons. I've been your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake and I will be back tomorrow. All right. Thank you again, everybody. And I'll see you then. All right. Bye.